Joshua Smotherman, MiddleTennesseeMusic.com. Continu continuing our theme of social media management. I'm going to go over CrowdfireApp.com today, which also has an accompanying app for your phone. It's pretty sweet, slick, and gives you a lot of information. So if you're, this works with Instagram and Twitter, I'm going to sign into my Twitter account. I've already signed in, so it's just authenticating. What we're looking at right here are people I am following that are not following me back. As you can tell, most of these are verified accounts. Um, there's a reason for that. I'm doing a little experiment. But you can see your non-followers. So see, here's all the people that are following me, but I have not followed back yet. Let's see. Boom. Follow that one. You can just go through here and follow people. You can see their profiles, all this info. You can add them to a list from in here. You can view people that um, followed you recently. And then you could follow them back if you wish. On followers. You can see who's been inactive, spanning from one month up through six months. So these people have not posted or been active on Twitter in 30 days. Then three months and then six months would show me that information. Um, see, these people aren't really active. Why am I following them? There's limits and rules, which we have a handy little slideshow available on our website that goes over the limits of Twitter and Instagram as well. Two different slideshows. Now, these are the people I'm following. Now this is really cool. I'm looking for interesting people to engage with, communicate with, and um, build community with. So, let's say who. Let's let's just look at Mid Ten Music. Just for simplicity, what we're doing is going to pull up followers of the Mid Ten Music account. And these are people who are following Middle Tennessee Music. So I could go through here, and if I see anyone interesting that would be relative to Sacktown Hip Hop, I could follow them. And I could do this for any account. Like I could, um, I could copy followers for the Sacramento Bee, or for XXL Magazine, or um, an artist, or a public figure, a celebrity, a basketball team, anything like that. You could search any Twitter account and it'll pull up their followers and then you can go through and find interesting people to follow. You can also search by hashtag. So if I wanted to connect with people who are into indie music and tweeting about indie music, bam, pulls it up just like that. You can create a whitelist so then you have people you can add people to this and then it will never you'll never be able to unfollow them or it will show up on your unfollowers even if they're inactive have unfollowed you etc you can blacklist people so that you don't ever see them again you can do a friend check so does mid 10 music follow sack town hip hop yep we do we follow each other and then the thing that I really use this bad boy for is this automated direct messages. Now there's a lot of debate and blah 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 about this strategy, but if you do it tastefully, it is a great way to further interact and engage with people on your Twitter list. So what happens? I've set up this message. If you make music, ask how to submit to our blog and podcast. Even if it's not urban music, I cover all genres at mid10music.com. Obviously, I run multiple blogs, so I'm, uh, you know, we're cross-promoting, cross-pollinating with with that said. Um, so I've gotten a lot of people that hit me back and have submitted music because of this message. You can do automatic tracking, so tweet. You can automatically tweet when your your unfollower and follower stats, and then you can have your stats emailed to you. Now. If you go to the Instagram side, Instagram is obviously different than Twitter. Recent followers, recent unfollowers, you can all following. You can do the copy followers thing where you look up another account, get the followers. You can whitelist and blacklist accounts, and you can do a friend check. Does so and so follow so and so? They also have premium plans, so I'll, we'll check this out real quick. You can manage five accounts, unlimited unfollows and follows um, within Twitter's limits and guidelines. As far as Crowdfire is concerned, you get unlimited, but. Twitter is going to limit you. <laughs> they have limits in place. You can put 10,000 people in your whitelist or blacklist. You can hide your previously 
followed users, blah blah blah. That's this one's nineteen ninety nine a month. They got this one that's nine ninety nine, fifty nine ninety nine, one ninety nine. So this is some serious business right here. But um this one right here, if you download the app to your phone and you start using it, you can upgrade from within the app for four ninety nine for a whole year for one account, which is what I did because I wanted to really like play with this app and see what's going on. And the convenience for me outside of the automated direct message that goes out was being able to have this on my phone so I can literally um, like spend random free minutes checking and managing my Twitter account um, just taking you know advantage of little moments when I'm sitting waiting at the doctor's office or waiting for the kids to get out of school or something I can take a few minutes load up the grab my phone load this up check everything follow some people unfollow some people etc and it doesn't get in the way of my normal work day per se so very cool this is crowdfireapp.com it's worth checking out if you need a solution for Instagram or Twitter management um, if you're a small business or a small label with multiple artists, you might want to look into their premium plans. Uh, Joshua Smotherman, MiddleTennesseeMusic.com. Thanks again. I will see you next time. Peace.